become a ceramic artist uh, was never in my wildest dreams something that I was going to be. I was going to be something in art, but in ceramics, no, it wasn't going to be. I hadn't even had a, a, an inkling of what ceramics really was. How did I get into ceramics? That's a, a long story because my first experience with ceramics wasn't very good. I thought, well, I don't think I'm going to do anything with clay. I was at a dilemma and I asked my dad, I says, what should I take? What should I, what direction do you think I should go? And he said, follow your heart. I re later realized that clay pushed me out of that comfort zone. It pushed me to uh, a higher level of uh, thinking. Evolving into ceramics took me a long time to arrive at falling in love with this particular medium that you can do just about anything with. And if you love what you're doing, it just comes out. But I look at art as the labor, a labor of love, and it's very motivating. And it shows. It shows in things that you do. I felt that there was probably more to ceramics than just pottery. I, the direction that I wanted to go meant that I had to uh, invent various ways and methods to do things. Not just throw it on the potter's wheel and, and uh, learn how to alter it and change it, but it meant that I had to, I invented ways to make things for uh, some of my sculpture. I, I learned how to uh, uh, do a lot of things with slab form. And then I made molds and I made uh, slip cast molds and I did press molds. I found a way to uh, take this old medium and do some uh, conceptual things that I enjoy working with. And there's still hundreds of ideas that I want to do. Now I had to pick what's the best route and where can I focus most. <laughs>